All right, so the first upgrades we have for the Seamoth is going to be the Depth Module. Simple, simple, similar to how I did the Cyclops video. So we have the Mark 1 Depth Module. It's going to increase your Seamoth. It's going to increase your Seamoth's max depth to 300 meters. I was getting tongue tied, sorry. So that's what the Mark 1 Depth Module does. The Mark 2 increases it to 500, and then the Mark 3 increases it to 9. So the Seamoth has a max of 900 meters at the Mark 3 Depth Module, which is its max. It's fast, but you're not gonna be able to take it everywhere, unfortunately. So the next upgrade we have on the list is going to be the engine efficiency module. Engi yeah, okay, I saw the rate. So the engine efficiency module, basically all the engine efficiency module does is decreases the rate that your Seamoth drains, like drains its power by, I think it's 15%. And it, it's somewhere around that. It's either 15 or like 20, something like that. Pretty, it's pretty useful. Kind of, kind of okay upgrade, but I'd probably substitute it for other things. So next we have the solar charger. Solar charger is a little self-explanatory. So basically all it does is whenever you have it equipped on your Seamoth, whether you're like in the middle of using it, like driving around or if it's just sitting around doing nothing, as long as you have the solar charger equipped and it's daytime, your Seamoth will recharge and will slowly recharge its energy. So I would, if I were you, I would only put the solar charger on if I'm, you know, near the surface and whatnot, or if I'm not using my Seamoth and sitting at the base, you can just recharge it free if you're not using it. The next upgrade we have on our list is going to be the Seamoth storage module. And you can use it for the Seamoth or the Frostsuit. So the storage module does exactly what it, says, what it says it does. It just adds like a little storage module on the side of your Seamoth. It doesn't have a lot of, I think it's one, two, three, four, four. So it's got 16 slots of space. You can have up to 64 extra slots on your Seamoth for just storage if you put four storage modules on it. So that's that's pretty cool. Now we're moving on to the best upgrade in my opinion is going to be the Seamoth Perimeter Defense. Now the Perimeter Defense, it's, a, it's an active upgrade, so it's not like something you just put on and forget about. You actually have to click it. So let's say you're getting attacked by, I don't know, maybe like a Bone Shark, Reaper Leviathan. If it's coming after you or grabs you, you can hit it with Perimeter Defense by simply pressing it, like so. And then when you hit it with it, it'll immediately turn around and start running away. Now, the only thing that you can't use Perimeter Defense on is our Ampules, because they're immune to the Perimeter Defense, so just keep that in mind whenever you're using it. Now, the next upgrade we have on the list is going to be the Hull Reinforcement. Now, I was told that it decreases damage that creatures do, but after testing it and whatnot, all it does is when you have whole reinforcement equipped, it'll either de it'll decrease the amount of damage you take when you bump into stuff. So like this, and I'm doing right now, I did three, and then let's take it off, and then let's see the difference. Yeah, it does a lot more. So the whole reinforcement keeps your Seamoth from taking a whole bunch of damage when you start bumping into stuff. But as far as creatures, it doesn't reduce the damage that creatures deal to your vehicle. All right, so the next upgrade we have on the list is the torpedo system. Now the torpedo system, uh, the torpedo system is going to allow you to put torpedoes in your Seamoth. Now it's not like the exploding torpedoes that you're probably thinking about. The only thing that you can put in here are vortex torpedoes and gas torpedoes. And I will show you both of those right now. So the vortex torpedo, Whenever you shoot it out, it's going to do exactly what it says it does. It's going to make a little vortex. It'll suck anything in. Here you can see all the fish are getting pulled in. And then the gas torpedo. The gas torpedo is the one that actually does damage. And that's the one you're going to want to use against, you know, creatures if you want to fight things. All right. And the very last upgrade we have on this list is going to be the Seamoth Sonar, which is one of my, again, one of my other favorite upgrades because it does, it's kind of useful. So the sonar is basically going to allow you to highlight your environment while you're in your Seamoth. So I have the sonar on right now. If you press the sonar, it highlights everything in like this, in the like red little grid. It'll highlight the, the landscape and creatures that are in the area. And yeah, those are all the upgrades for the Seamoth. And that is all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace.